Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve this glass style animation. This video is inspired by the amazing work from the Furrow Animation Studio. Check the link in the description to follow their work. I'll show you some important techniques that you can use to level up your animation styles. Let's go! First, we need to create the basic animation before we can stylize it. So let's get started on that. Create a new composition that's 1080 by 1080. Background color can be black. Call it main comp. Let's make a square that's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Move it to the center of the composition, then create a circle that's 300 pixels as well. Duplicate the circle, position the two circles on the top and bottom of the square. Then duplicate the two circles again, position them into the left and right side of the square. Then we need just one last circle, make it 50 pixels in size. This small circle will be our gradient aura orb in the center. Now let's add some animation. For the square, let's animate the rotation. Add keyframes on rotation. It will rotate 90 degrees every 30 frames. Adjust the graph editor so the animation is smoother. We'll rotate it four times for one full round of rotation. Next, for the top and bottom circles, it will move in position, go top and bottom while the square is rotating. So just add keyframes on the position property of the top circles first. In 15 frames, move away from the square. Then another 15 frames comes back down. Adjust the graph editor so it will be smoother. Apply the same animation to the bottom circle. Then for the side circles, let's move the right one to the left using position property. Adjust the graphs. Also animate the scale property so the circle becomes bigger once it's in front of the square to give it an illusion that it's moving in 3D space. Do the same animation for the left circle and animate it to the right but this time, we don't need the scale change. I want the left circle to go behind the square, so it won't show up when changing position. Now, I need to cut the left and right circles animation, duplicate them three times, keep my right circle always on top of my square, and the left circle always behind the square, so these layers can form a continuous loop. And this is what the final animation looks like. Now that we have the animation set up, we can start exploring how to style out the scene and add some gradient to the animation. We'll first work on the gradient texture of the square in the center. Let's create a new composition called Square Texture, put in a pale magenta solid background, draw another rounded square, make it dark blue, animate rotation properties so the square turns like this. Duplicate the blue square, make it smaller, and change it to black. Now add adjustment layer. Add Fastbox Blur, change setting to 80. Add a Turbulent Displace effect. Let's modify the setting and change the amount to 50. Change size to 200. We'll animate the evolution. We'll do five rounds of evolution in 10 seconds. Now, let's add some highlight to the corners. We can add a blue, light blue solid layer, draw a circle mask, and invert the mask. So only the corners are left. Change transparency mode to add. Now we have a highlighted corner. Let's play the animation. This is our square texture. Now go back to our main comp, make the square texture the alpha mat of the square layer, and parent the texture to the square shape layer so it will animate with the shape. This is what it looks like now. Before we continue, I want to share with you an exciting news. Motion design courses just became more affordable at Motion Circles. With our Motion Insider membership, you will get unlimited access to our top tier motion design courses, trusted by over 50,000 students worldwide. Time to elevate your motion design skills to become the best animators you can be. As an insider, you will also receive complimentary project files from all of our Motion Circles YouTube tutorials and enjoy an exclusive 25% discount on all the other incredible animation projects from other artists in our project file shop. Don't miss out on this opportunity to level up your animation skills while becoming part of our vibrant community. 
Join us today at motioncircles.com and unleash your creative potential. Next, we'll make a gradient aura animation in the center. Create a new composition in 1080 by 1080, call it gradient aura, draw a bunch of circle in different sizes and different colors, apply wiggle position effects, change wiggle speed to three and the amount to 120, copy this wiggle effect to all the circles. Now all of the circles are wiggling randomly in the scene. Next, create a null object, parent all the circle to the null, go at time times 100 expression on the rotation property of null, so the circles will also rotate from the center of the scene around the null object. This will add another layer of animation onto all the circles. Last thing, add adjustment layer and fastbox blur effect, change blur radius to 20 and iteration to 3. Now we have a basic gradient aura set up. Go back to the main comp, use gradient aura comp as alpha mat of our smaller inner circle shape layer, parent to the shape layer, then add inner glow and bevel and emboss to the composition. Adjust the size of glow and the size of bevel and emboss to make it more 3D looking. Last thing, add curves effect to the comp to drag the brightness lower and then finish it with a deep glow effect with some fancy glows. This is what it looks like, our gradient aura orb. Now that we've finished the center part, let's go ahead and work on the texture for the circles. Go ahead, create a new composition in 1080 by 1080 named circle texture. We need to add a couple solid layers. First, create a yellow solid. Then we'll add a beige solid layer, apply mask, and change feather to 200, so it will only show as a gradient. Then use the same way to add an orange solid, add a deep red solid color, and then on the top, we use a dark black color. This will make up our gradient texture for the circle. Back to the main comp, let's apply the circle texture to the circle shape layer. To do that, Use the shape layer as the alpha mat of the texture and then parent the texture to the shape layer so they always animate together. Now let's do the same thing to the other three circles. Apply texture to the other three circles. This is what it looks like. We're half done. Before we continue, let's add a adjustment layer at the top to make the color more vibrant. Add adjustment layer, add curves effect. Drag the curve down to make scene darker overall Add deep glow effect, change radius to 200 and exposure to 0.3. Add hue saturation effect. Change the master saturation to higher number, maybe 25, to make it more vibrant. Now the colors are looking better. Lastly, we can add some noise to give the scene some texture. Let's add a noise HLS effect. Change noise to green, lightness to 10%. It's very subtle, but you can see the before and the after of the noise effect. Looking great. Now we just need to apply the same circle texture to the other circles on the left and right to complete the loop. Now the final thing we need is to work on the glass effect when the circle is overlapping on top of the square. Right now it doesn't have the see-through effect. To do that, let's duplicate the circle texture make this bottom composition an adjustment layer by clicking on this adjustment layer icon. Now, let's add Fastbox Blur on this new adjustment layer, change radius to 5. Next, we need to change the top circle texture blending mode to screen. You can see we're able to see through the circle as a glass with some blurred square in the back. That's great. Let's also add a transform effect, change the scale larger to 140, now it really has a glass feel to it. Lastly, we'll add the bulge effect, put the center at the center of the square, then change radius to 300 by 300, bulge height to 0.5. Now it gives you a distortion like seeing through a glass. Nice, this is essentially the techniques we're using to create this glass effect. Now we just need to duplicate this layer and put it underneath the circle texture, wherever the circle is in front of the square to create a glass effect. And we need to make sure all the circle texture on top are in screen blending mode. Here's the final animation. If you want to change the color of the scene, you can go add a hue saturation effect to the circle texture and modify the color, just like these colors.
There you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out our project file shop for many amazing After Effects project files to improve your skills. You can also join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with other motion designers. If you're serious about improving your animation skills and become a professional, check out our Motion Insider membership at motioncircles.com to access our beginner animation courses trusted by 50,000 plus students worldwide. It is the easiest and fastest way to level up your skills and become a professional animator. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.